Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Clue. Welcome back to some more World of Tanks, where today I am going to be playing some fast tanks. But not just the fastest tanks in a list from, you know, 1 to 5 or whatever. I am going to be playing the fastest tanks of medium, light and tank destroyer category. And it's the top, the fastest tank that I have from each category. So, of course, I do have the fastest light tank in the game, which is the EBR-105, which goes, as we can see over here, 70 kilometers an hour forward normally, but 91 uh, in the kind of travel mode that you get in this. So, let's start off with this, and let's see how we do. Normally, I don't do too well in the EBR-105. I'm not really sure why. I just prefer... The EBR-75, uh, I'm not really sure why I have the same crew in both, same setup I'm pretty sure as well, maybe not, but uh, I just do well, be way better in that tag than I do in this one. Not really sure why, as I said, maybe it's just because people have gotten so much better at shooting these things and it's gotten so much slower than it was before, I guess so much slower. It goes 91 now, before it used to do 95 and on the test server when I played it many years back, it did 105 with that speed boost mechanic which was absolutely insane so let's see what we can do in this game hopefully not die right at the start again with light tanks i would normally go to the eastern side of the map southern the southeastern side but i'm not going to this time so hopefully makes to make things more interesting as I get spotted straight away by that T-54 lightweight. Can we put a shot into him? No, we can't. If he wouldn't have been there, I would have probably tried moving up forwards a bit more. But, uh, well, he is there, so I can't really do anything. Can we spot anyone over there? I don't really want to get spotted myself, and that tree is kind of in the way. Oh, there he is. Can we put a shot into him as well? Yes, we can. That is quite useful. And that EBR 105 was over here. But I'm not going to worry about him, because I'd rather take... 290 damage rather than uh, not 390 even than 750 from like a tank destroyer or something at the back which there is a couple of now this pattern I know he wants me to go forwards but I just don't want to die and well, I'm not really sure what I'm doing over here but I guess let's just go see hopefully we can go into this bush without getting spotted please 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 are we spotted no we're not okay we're fine We've spotted their EBR 105 as well. Uh, okay. This pattern's going with me, so we might as well just keep moving up. I didn't get spotted before, so I should be fine moving up over here now. With the leopard getting spotted over there. Hopefully it's just the leopard over there. We have to put a shot into him. We just need to kill him as quickly as possible. EBR 105 over there. Hopefully we aren't in the crosshairs of any other tanks. And there we go, we've killed him, which is very good. Uh, I am playing quite weirdly because I am just absolutely not ready for this. I just completely jumped in straight away and... Uh, yes, as I said, just, just not ready. The EBR 105 over there. We put a nice shot into him over there. He puts one back. Uh, we are quite okay for now. Hopefully this EBR kind of runs away instead of running towards me. If not, then... Oh, big, big tanks, big tanks. Run away, run away. Absolutely want nothing to do with that grill. And... Oh, can we get a shot into him? Nope, but he misses me, so that's just as good. How I want nothing to do with that... Oh, okay, there's a T-50... Oh, over there, okay. I did not see him over there. Uh, I want nothing to do with that E-3 and grill 15. Because that they're just going to kill me very quickly i'm a one shot for him now basically so that's not good can someone kill this ebr please would be nice would make it would allow me to spot that grill and e3 a lot easier can we put some shots into him though no, we can't what about that grill he's running away well, i'm not really sure i would oh is this a shot yes it is okay nice i'm actually doing quite well honestly i feel like i'm doing weird at uh, weird it just feels weird driving around in this but we are doing quite well George just missed that shot from the 103 I'm pretty sure that was oh uh, I am not ready for this please someone help come on there's a type 61 over here 
Oh, those tanks can all get me as well. We need to run away from here. That's what we need to do. We need to take out that EBR, which is now firing uh, high explosive rounds. We are not because I'm trying to do something. We just need to run away from here. This is not safe. We need to survive. I'm not even going to shoot at them because we just need to focus on driving as best as I can. Lost some speed there. But okay, we're fine. We're in the dip, which we are okay with. We can shoot this ML2 now. Which is going to help our teammates uh, quite a lot. We're actually doing not that bad, to be honest. Uh, can we spot that 103? Yes, we can, but a little bit too late. I, as I said, I normally do a lot worse at this tank, but we're doing quite well right now. Oh, there's the 105. Oh, I somehow missed him. I'm not really sure how. We did get spotted as well, so we have to watch out. There is an alt artillery in this game, which I totally did not know about, so that is quite useful to know now. How did that EBR spot me though through here? Did someone else spot me or was I spotted the whole time? I'm not really sure. There he is again. Let's shoot him. There you go. We've taken him out. Two kills. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. We did quite well. We took everyone out. Let's switch to high explosive rounds because I'm guessing this uh, artillery is going to be down here somewhere. But before that, we have to get past the Type 61 again. Did we get spotted? I, oh, okay, yeah, we did. I was about to say that would have been quite weird if we didn't. Let's just go all in now. We probably might die over here because we went a little bit too all in. Oh, and that Type 61 has a way better reload than I thought he would. Uh, okay. We're getting chased by a Type 61. Oh, please. Oh, okay. This is far from ideal. Oh, okay, no, okay, we are just about surviving over here. And we got ourselves into a nice position over here. Let's let's see if we can track him. Nope, that shell, I'm pretty sure, just went through. I'm not really sure what happened with that, because I'm pretty sure I hit his right uh, track over there. But I guess not. But well, you know what, would we'll take 3,000 damage, 2,600 spotting. Uh, on the map, not too good for the EBR. It definitely could have been better, could have been worse. But you know what? We'll take that for the first game in the EBR and in fast tanks as we are doing today. Now, let's move my camera so I'm actually in the middle of it. Always quite hard to get myself in. So there you go. We'll take that. Top on damage, top on experience. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll do the times five as well. And moving on from the fastest light tank that I have, or actually in the game as well, moving on to the fastest tank destroyer i'm pretty sure overall i'm pretty sure there is no faster tank destroyer than this uh but if there is then okay but this at least the fastest one that i have which of course it being the super hellcat i'm pretty sure it goes the same speed as the hellcat but um why not move it up to tier seven against tier eight it's not too bad with <laughs> my logo over here i made my own uh, clan over here which is quite fancy just to get my logo on I should make it just say like subscribe to Mr. Red Claw that would be <laughs> quite nice but yes the Super Hellcat basically ex or exactly the same as the Hellcat just up a tier I'm pretty sure it has slightly more hit points but I'm not sure uh, I run I'm pretty sure what was that good rubber uh, binos and something else I'm not really sure but yes, okay, we do have more hit points than the regular Hellcat. That would be quite weird if we had the same amount as that tank because well, we're a whole tier higher than uh, that tank over there. And it does feel weird not being able to shoot my machine gun because recently, through the past week, I have been absolutely slaving away on War Thunder. I actually got myself my first two, or actually three, uh, premium tanks on that game and I've just absolutely been going ham on that game over there so maybe you know next week or so I'm gonna play some War Thunder I'm not really sure I'm not the best at it I'm not terrible uh, but I'm actually quite all right and we'll see we'll see I'll, I'll see if, if I play that tank or not we put a good first shot into the 59 16 at the start over here can we see that oh I yes we can and actually, I haven't played this tank in a while, but it's actually quite nice to play. It's fast, it's good, it's fairly okay for a 
mid tier tank destroyer. Oh, that MT got absolutely destroyed by that Scorpion Geo there. Can we shoot anything else? I kind of don't want to get spotted by this guy. So I don't want to shoot over here, but we can shoot over here. Oh, sh I shot a bit too early. And I am absolutely scared now because that Panther, the Br Britannia Panther, was spotted behind me here. I'm basically in the shooting zone right in front of him. Oh, there's that new Japanese heavy tanks. I'm pretty sure they are, right? Or Chinese, I, Japanese, I don't know. I, all I know though is that there's new uh, heavy tanks in the game. So it should kind of uh, be quite useful to kind of see which ones and what they are good at. Because if I spot them, I will have absolutely no idea what to do against them. There's that OI that we saw before. Finally in the position. It's only him spotted for now though, so that is quite interesting. There's, there haven't been no one spotted yet. And for, for we put in those two shots towards the start of the game, now we are kind of in a dry spell, not really sure what to do, if we should stay here or move somewhere else to get some shots in on someone else. Maybe we're going to go in over here, help this uh, FV4202 out. Hopefully no one's sitting over there. Because I'm just about to get spotted if they are. It looks like nobody is, hopefully. And we are in here, which is quite a nice spot to spot to stay at. Oh, that FV is not doing too well, is he? Getting shot at by the... And actually taken out by the Yag, uh, the Yag Panther over there so fair enough to him oh okay <laughs> did not expect him to be right behind me okay i'm not really sure where to go we're not doing too well on this flank or on the other flank either so uh this definitely is going to be as victorious of the win of a win as i had in the eb 5 i'm not really sure maybe i should go over to the other flank help them push through but then again, if I leave this flank, the Scorpion G has now moved up, so maybe he's going to demolish his way through. I'm not really sure. We're not do doing too well on this flank either, so maybe let's just help these guys out as uh, we have a lone VK-3601H with the support of two artillery, uh, tank destroyers even. Oh, am I spotted? No, I'm not. Okay against was that another blind shield no okay that was blocked by a house i was about to say i'm just getting some weird rng in this game today i even have like good ping right now so it can't be a problem of that so it must be missing the shots altogether okay what do i do here what do i do i'm not sure what i do feels like I'm going to lose this game, that's why I know what's going to happen. Okay, there you go, I can get a shot at this M6 over here. Have to watch out not to get spotted by all the other tanks though. Like this Jew 2. Let's wait until he goes behind this bush over here. There you go. Oh, please say I'm not spotted. Okay, I'm not. Okay, the APCR round's not being able to go through the upper... Uh, hull of the Jew 2 kind of looks like I know some weird World of Tanks Blitz tank. I'm pretty sure it is already on uh, on Blitz if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is not going to be nice at all. Oh, can we put another shot into him? No, we can't. And I think it's too late to move. There isn't really anywhere to hide because uh, we have lost the other flank. So sadly. Not even be able to use the speed of the stag too much in this game, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think all I can, uh, can do right now is just hopefully use the 10 degrees of gun depression, which is a very nice thing about this tank. I'm not really sure how I did not get spotted over there, or maybe I'm spotted this whole time, because it would be weird not to be spotted. No, I actually wasn't, some, somehow. Now, can I shoot this? No, I can't. Let's just track him, or at least try and track him, but of course with him having probably uh oh this is absolutely terrifying run out oh okay at least we put one shot but now we are going to be absolutely demolished by everyone 1600 damage you know what it's not that bad for a tier 7 
uh, tank destroyer, especially in such matchmaking as this was. And with the team that I had, we lost 5 to 15, which is not the best. But you know what? We'll take that. We'll probably be, you know, top on, yep, top on the experience and damage once again. But this time for not that good of a win. Now, moving on from, we had the light tank, we had the tank destroyer. Now let's move on to a medium tank. Now, this isn't the fastest medium tank. I'm pretty sure the fastest medium tank at the moment in the game is the tier 10 British wheeled medium tank, which goes, I'm pretty sure, 70. Nope, okay. I'm, I, I did research yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I saw one that does 70 forwards, so I'm not really sure which one that is. I'm just going to go through all of them now. Maybe it has some sort of special travel mode. Maybe it does. Let's see. Uh, either way, this goes 65, which is still quite fast. It said 70 on the website, so okay. The Bat Chat uh, 25T also does 75, so you know what? It's just as fast as that, so... I'm not taking anything against the website. Now, another tank that I do have that goes 65, that is also a medium tank, is the AMX 30B. But that is just absolutely a terrible medium tank. Uh, you know, it's so terrible that they removed it from the regular tech tree. That's how bad it, bad it is. So, we are going to play one of my favourite medium tanks in the game with a really skilled out crew from the Barask, the Batchat 25T. Just that, yes, the AP is the tier 9. This being, I'm pretty sure, my first or second tier 10 in the game. So it does have a special place in my heart with a very fancy camo on this uh, tank. It hasn't been changed in a long time. It's still basically what it was when it first came into the game. Maybe a couple nerfs, buffs, I'm not really sure. But it's still practically the same as what it was at the start. Five shell, 105 millimeter autoloader, 390 damage, 259 millimeters of standard pen and 330 gold pen. It's fairly quick as we are seeing over here. Fairly good power to weight ratio, which allows it to go up that 65 kilometers an hour top speed limit, even on uh, soft terrain like we are seeing over here. Now, are we going to follow that bat chat up there? I think I'm just going to stay here for now, not to die right at the start, because you can get shot by basically the whole town from up there if you don't make it up all the way uh, to that safe point over there. Now, is that bat chat going to spot anyone? We are going to wait. There's a char for you tier 4. It's basically a tier 9 bat chat, just a little bit different. I'm pretty sure that's 440 alpha, if I'm not mistaken. Now, that char definitely isn't the best of players, because if... Uh, if he had even an ounce of uh, brain power, he would know that the Batchat 25T has a 2.76, a 2.73 second intra clip reload, and the char has like four, four and a half or something like that. So it's a lot worse. But now, me, along with the rest of my teammates, can move up now because uh, we are safe now, or at least safe from uh, getting shot by tanks that can see us, but you know. Uh, tanks can still blind fire at us and uh, do large amounts of damage that way. So I'm just going to slowly make my way up here. Oh, there's a... Oh, please say I'm not spotted. I'm spotted, I think. Oh, I... Oh, okay. I'm not really sure who blind fired that shell over there. There's an E100 that still has a large caliber gun. I'm just going to say help and I just need to go into this dip over here not to get shot up by anyone from up there. Oh, yep, there's the E100 I thought that there was up there, so someone please help. I'd rather tank, I'd rather tank the 104 just uh, rather than both the 104 and the E100, so I might lose some damage hit points here. But we're going to take him out, put in a couple good hits in, and I would just need to uh, patch that up and move in into cover away from that E100. That definitely wasn't a perfect play. I did miss that one shot against the 704 as well, which probably cost me uh, hit points from the bat chat. But hey, we've uh, pushed, uh, pushed, we have pushed through even, and uh, we're still alive, I guess, which is, which could be worse. There's an E4 over there, which uh, 
we probably aren't the best tank to penetrate frontally but we are going to give it a try with these a APCR rounds so this isn't also uh, the most accurate of of medium tanks at tier 10 it's probably one of the least accurate if I'm being honest to be honest yes if I'm being honest to be honest that makes sense okay this E4 I think has forgotten that he is still able to be spotted and I'm just hoping right now that he doesn't have the best of crew uh, so he is unable to spot me this big big shot yes there you go that's good Okay, now we're just reloading our final APCR shell. 2,000 damage, you stack up damage so quickly in this tank. You're there, it's like, oh, we're actually about to lose the cap circle. I can't really do much from here. Uh, but yeah, we are about to lose that, so hopefully someone resets. Uh, I'm actually just going to probably push for over here and hope that I can get there in time. Uh, and someone resets uh, before. Okay, we're, we're safe now, but I think we're just going to... Actually, we'll double back onto the STB-1 now. Uh, that E4 can still kill me, so hopefully someone shuts them down before, because I think I'm about to get shot by him or another big tank destroyer. Hopefully not. I'm just about to get into the STB ones face over here. Oh, big uh, mistake over there with that first shell. It actually makes uh, makes it that I bounce. Okay, I missed the first. I actually get rammed over there. Bad play by me at the end, but it meant that uh, we secured the southern side of the map first, then tried pushing through, and you know what, 2700 damage is still quite nice. I absolutely bottled it against the STB on over there. I missed the first shot, which meant that uh, the second last, well, the last shot that I fired uh, bounced off, so that would have killed him if, if he would have been dead if I penetrated the first shot, and then that allowed him to. Uh, just ram me and take me out but we should hopefully be able to take this out actually looking at it now uh, we kind of lost the town quite uh, quite quickly and now we are in a four versus five with an fv405 that hasn't been spotted yet so hopefully uh, we do quite well the char has spotted the bat chat uh, oh and he is just sitting out in the open i'm not really sure why he, it's obvious that the Batcher would have spotted him. If not him, then someone else. There's another artery right behind this rock, I'm pretty sure, that I saw a shot coming from. So what is this char going to do? Let's see what the S tank is doing. Trying to take out the tiger mouse. Oh, that was a good lucky bounce by him over there. The char trapped in a corner now. Object 263 on one side, R3 on the other side. What is he going to do? Let's switch over to S tank cam once again. As our artillery pieces, as we just saw, are being taken out by the FV. I'm not really sure what this one, one, uh, 212A is doing, but of course he's going to get spotted. He should have just turned around, aimed, and put in a flush shot towards that FV. But I guess he's just running away. Hopefully he can get away in time before that FV reloads. So at least he's still useful in this game. Uh, our char is still alive. Not really sure what he's still doing over there. He should have gone after uh, the bat chat and helped the S1. And instead he just dies not even spotting the uh, object 263. So it looks like we've bottled this. We definitely should have uh, stayed alive for longer we could have taken out the stb could have been a one shot but we then we could have uh, you know maybe come forth uh taken out the arteries maybe gone on back to help our arteries against fv405 uh but like this we are in a two versus five still i'm pretty sure I would... oh okay this s tank is just absolutely asleep i'm not really sure how you get a tiger mouse to outflank you in such a fast tank now the 212a is just basically hopelessly lost uh, getting i'm pretty sure blind fired by the enemy artillery and i'm pretty sure this is going to be the shot to end the game yes it is maybe i could have done something to help throughout this game at towards the end definitely bottled it against the two shots against the stb1 but you know sometimes that happens i definitely could have played that way better though that was definitely on me uh oh we've got some rewards for the slash the diamond chapter okay okay yeah so third on uh 
damage and experience definitely could have done better in the Hellcat and the Bat Chat as we do have fairly okay win ratios in either tanks. But those were the fastest tanks in World of Tanks that I have in the game. It could have gone better. You know, on average, we did two and a half hours. We only won one battle in that EBR at the start. As I said, it could have gone better. But, you know, we did okay. We definitely bottled it a little bit uh, towards the end. You know, the Super Hellcat game I'll let off. But we could have probably won the Batchat game. But for now, that is going to be because you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.